Hi, lovely GameSpot people. I am Kevin Van Ord, and I'm joined by Alexa Korea. Hey, guys. And we are going to play some uh, Homeworld Remastered, which Ooh. is very exciting. <laughs> now, I'm long. Homeworld is one of my top ten games of all time, so I oh, love yeah. Homeworld to death. But you're driving today. I am driving um, today. I haven't touched it. Um, I'm waiting for the review code to come so that I can start from scratch and mm. not not have anything sullied by beta things. <laughs> beta and, uh, things. Yeah. So I'm so I'm getting excited, but you're driving today, and I can be the one that's all nostalgic about Homeworld. I'm um, excited to get nostalgic so, about Homeworld. This so, is beautiful. This is awesome. So what are we doing? Like, uh, what, what I, I have we haven't really talked about this at no, all. No, this so is the first what's, time what's we're the, talking. About <laughs> so what 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 is it that you're going to be playing for us today? Well, we're looking at the original Homeworld, correct? Uh, yes. This is uh, Homeworld remastered. It's Homeworld 1. It's the redone version. So this is the new bit that this is the wholly redone one that Gearbox has So this made. is what Gearbox has been doing. Of course, the original mm -hmm. created by Relic. Um, one of, if not, I mean, Blizzard aside, possibly the most, fam possibly the most um, beloved um, RTS developer um, ever because we've got Homeworld, we've got, uh, we've got Dawn of War, um, of course, Company of Heroes, mm. um, and the wonderful and underrated Impossible Creatures, which is a shame that so many people have not played this game or even necessarily heard of it. I love... So... Check out the new... Like, this is even... Uh, Ooh, -hoo -hoo. Newly HD cutscenes. This is very exciting. It looks very, very nice. And also, Gorgeous. just I like to point out, this isn't out yet. Uh, the beta is a private press beta, so we have it. We've had it for about a week now, and I've been tooling around with it. Um, the game itself comes out on February 25th, so you don't actually have to wait that long. Yeah, it's, it's out very soon. Um, and something to, to throw in, one of the reasons, one of the many, 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 many reasons why I love Homeworld is this is a game that, because uh, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you can't expect uh, the mothership! You can't expect uh, a you know a great story in a real time strategy game. What would you be you know What are you talking about? What what kind of crap is that? Yeah. You know, shut up. Because <laughs> that this this is this is the prototypical you know art. Oh my god! Look at that. Um, this is the prototypical um, you know RTS with a great story. There there are very few games that I would put on that list. I would say Homeworld and Homeworld 2. Mm. Homeworld Cataclysm. Cataclysm was the, the um, for the first game, that was the expansion that came out for the first game. Po probably even better um, story-wise, but uh, I'm, I'm yeah. just getting excited. Now I feel like a <laughs> weird fanboy. So now we see the, uh, the other big thing, of course, is this is all in, in 3D. Yeah. You, know, you, have, you have 3D space. There are other space RTSs um, but a lot of them take place on 2D planes. So while the animations take place in, and, and utilize the 3D <laughs> space, the, uh, the gameplay itself does not. Um, yeah. You know, games like Hegemonia and, and, and some other space RTSs like that. I, don't, I, I feel like I'm speaking Greek. I wonder how many people even remember some of these games that I'm talking about. I wonder. I'm getting excited. This is exciting. And for new people, uh, I've never played uh, Homeworld 2. I played the first one and I adored it. Uh, I did tool around in Homeworld 2, and even if you're a first timer, like I would say, the game, uh, the, the tutorials that Gearbox have put in are actually really, really great. So I think it's something that any newbie could easily dive into. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tool around while we're talking, talking about Homeworld. Look at all my scouts. You got lots got of scouts. Got my little, my little baby scouts. Good to to maybe send them out. You're gonna also wanna wanna start mining sometime yeah. soon. Um, but right now, of course, you don't have a, you know, you don't have access to your full array of things Resource here. Resource collector. I need a probe. I'm going to make two on the off chance that one gets like, like bites it before we get there. That'll happen. This and is I, your, uh, you know, your primary scouting mechanism is sending out a probe yeah. to kind of look around for you. The Vager might be coming any minute. Um, I have a, I have a resource collector. I wonder if I need another one though. Is it off mining already? Yeah. Maybe you get one more? Maybe? Should oh, I? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, one of the first things in any RTS is usually to get your resource, get your economy moving fast. Yeah. Um, and luckily, the early, the early missions in Homeworlds Where's my probe? are fairly easy to, uh, to take care of. Where's my probe? Where'd it go? <laughs> no, this is like, this, I'm just looking it's at always funny to, It's always fun to watch somebody that doesn't really play. Um, I know, I don't normally play... That doesn't play RTSs, 
get uh, on top of something. Yeah. This. Uh, this interesting. Oh, there's my salvage Corvette. There's my research ship. I would go oh ahead God. and make sure that uh, you've you're, you're collecting. So I think I you've am. got a resource collector there. Um, eventually, you might want to get. Uh, yeah. There you go. I'm get, gonna do uh, some do some salvaging over here, so we can build more. My other my resource collector is going back to the ship. Homeworld is very relaxing. There, it it is me. relaxing. Um, I think part of that has to do with the amazing soundtrack. There you are, baby. My probe, and I want it to go. So you can hit that way. Yeah, totally. There we go. Totally. Um, and my probe setting out. And I feel like I'm going to mispronounce the uh, the Homeworld composer's name. I think it was Paul Risque. Paul. Paul Risque, yeah. Um, just one of the most amazing soundtracks ever. It has a, you know what? It's one of those things where it has a little bit of a new agey sound without being cliche. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when battle starts, and hopefully we'll see battle, and you'll get to we will get see some, some close, close ups in there. Um, one of the great things that will then happen Ooh. is that there we go. Um, one of the, you know the the battle music will will cut in, and, and it's full of like. Very nasal sounding reeds yeah. and things like that. Like it's it's very unexpected. Um, it's not spacey, I guess you would say. And that's what makes it really special is that they avoid all of those yeah. all of those cliches in, in the music. Um, it feels like between the music and then the pacing and sort of the calmness of everything, it feels like. It's less like, oh, it's Star Wars and we're flying around shooting people, and it's more like we are, it's like the melancholy journey of humanity setting out to like find answers and stuff. And it's very like somber and mellow, but well, that's, also really exciting. That's kind of, the, that's, you're, you're kind of getting into the story with that Ooh. stuff too, because uh, of course that is exactly what's happening in a sense. You know, you're out there, you know, uh, you know. Oh boy. There, there's been a discovery. You know, it's it's very clear that um, we are not um, right now where we have come from. Yeah. You know, the the, the discovery has has led us into the stars, um, going after as you know as the the title of the game says, going after our homeworld. Homeworld. Oh my God. Get your scouts in there. Scouts. Attacking. The mothership is under attack. Oh my God. Where the hell do they go? Click on the red. There they go. I'm trying to like zoom them all up. Supporting friendly units. Getting banged around here. Copy. Engaging. There we go. Got him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's, let's zoom in and take a look at uh, look some at of these, the. Look at these light trails. Local resources. I mean, the game's always been. I mean, let, let's face it. Homeworld and Homeworld Two already looked amazing. Yeah. Um. And so. Mothership. You know, it's it's really great to see it updated. But what I love is is that they're already taking a game that holds up so well visually. Show no mercy. All right. So I just set all of my target, all of my uh, scouts to be aggressive. So they're going to go after these ships mm -hmm. and shoot. Which them is up. helpful. You can also create um, control groups called strike groups, and yeah. that, those are those are really helpful. Um, you know, the the old fashioned, you know. You know, yeah. use control one to group them together, control two, and so forth. And then you can switch easily back without having the, the drag and drop. Um, there we go. Another one of, you know, Mothership. another one of my favorite things, Mothership. you know, about the game in general is just the sound design. It, we don't talk enough about sound. No, we don't. In games, um, it's, it's easy to focus on the visuals um, for, for obvious reasons. Um, but when people tell me that they turn the sound off and listen to music or something, I that's always that. one of those things that drives me just a little bit crazy. <laughs> and zoom in so we can really see what's going on I kinda, here. I yeah. want to get rid of the one. I, I, there, there's a, I think the F key or something like that should allow you to focus on one ship and follow and follow it around. I don't oh. remember exactly what the. Uh, there we go. It's it's been. A little while I since I played Homeworld, so but uh, I think you can click on one ship and use the F key or something like that to to follow it around and zoom in. Yeah, it's a lot of fancy maneuvering. So, 
I'm going to, I was now thankfully brought a laptop. Um, so I'm looking Damn. at both the Twitch chat and the GameSpot comments, or the GameSpot chat. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, be, be a little easy on Alexa. She doesn't typically play strategy games. No. So, so she's tooling around while the rest of us judge her. <laughs> um, I'm going after them. I'm really putting in all my power into getting rid of these little dudes. But uh, don't forget you have an economy, so you can build some fighters. Um, and, and I can, and I think I will, actually. You've also got your... Uh, your research. I actually, I want to pull that out for tree. a minute so you guys can see this. Like, this is incredible. Like, look at those light paths. The way that, like, Gearbox has put this together is just so beautiful. Check it out. And uh, so, if you're, if you're on GameSpot watching live or on Twitch watching live, um, throw in a question. Yeah. Um, Alexa, um, has uh, had some information regarding the the up the the HD update. Mm -hmm. um, I know the original really well, um, so hopefully between the two of us, we'll have answers for your questions. Um, is Homeworld going to have multiplayer? I think we know the answer to that is yes. Yes. So, um, the Homeworld uh, multiplayer will launch alongside the single player in beta. With they're going to tweak it live as they go. They'll be working on it, seeing how balancing will work. They obviously have to make entirely new servers because with the GameSpy shut down, all of the old Homeworld servers... Oh, GameSpy. Homeworld servers. Homeworld servers were shut down. Looks like there's only a few guys left here. Can you click on one unit? Just uh, click on one. Yeah. And, I, and then maybe hit F on the keyboard. And then zoom in. Yeah, there, there here we, we go. go. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see... See that? I'm glad that the old control still yeah, works. Old, they're the, yeah, no, they're the same <laughs> all my, old controls. All my memories of the key bindings should be. Oh, look at this! This is be beautiful. He's about to die, actually. If anyone wants to watch the ship just blow up, I'm doing okay. So somebody asking how the HD graphics um, compare to the original, and I guess that's a question for me. Um, this is this is a hard one because I have you know I don't I don't play Homeworld every day. Um, and, and, of course, the problem with, with memories. Yeah. Um, now, I did play Homeworld last year, Homeworld 2 specifically, but um, which I still, I have, still had the disc. <laughs> Aww. And I found the disc in my closet, and I was like, I know what I'm doing tonight. But uh, one of the things about memories of games you love is that sometimes what you remember um, looks a little bit better in your memory than it actually did in real life. So I'm yeah. almost afraid of that. But it is clear um, that the ships have had updated textures. If you zoom in really close, um, you can you can see very easily um, that the textures are updated. Um, you can also see that the backgrounds um, have have been updated as well, um, which I love. And the interface has been has been cleaned up somewhat, um, and as well the cutscenes are now in uh, you know in the you know in, in the high definition that we would expect. So. Um, I would say it definitely looks better. Yeah. Um, the problem, of course, is that Homeworld and Homeworld 2 are already beautiful to look at to begin with. And so Copy. and so you may not notice the differences straight away if you compare your, your memory yeah. um, with the new. But what I'm hoping to do over the next, uh, you know, oh. once, once I get the review code, what I'm really, really hoping to do is... Um, at very least, I don't know if I'll be able to find my original copy of Homeworld. Look at this. But I still have Homeworld 2, and so if I can... look so good. This is one of the problems no. with a game that looks this good, though, a strategy game. I guess. Is that you get distracted by zooming in and seeing the really Whee. cool stuff, and sometimes you... <laughs> you look forget that you need to strategize. Yeah. I just made them all super aggressive. Engaging. You know... And maybe you know this, Alexa. Um, do you know if um, anything's been done for the soundtrack? I, I have to imagine. I do maybe know. They've, you do know. Tell, so tell us. I spoke with Gearbox at PAX South, and they told me that the Paul Ruske, Rux, Paul Ruske, 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 Paul Ruske, um, had the original tapes for the original Homeward it's, soundtrack. It's for me, by the way. I should probably remember to turn my phone down yes. before. We <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, so what Gearbox did is Gearbox went to him and had him uh, took the original tapes and completely 
retooled the soundtrack to get it into the game. So it's the original soundtrack, but the audio quality is a bit better. They just cleaned it up. That's great. Yeah, it's awesome. been cleaned up. The whole thing's been cleaned up. Did it! Boom! This is what I like about Homeworld, though. That was like a really beautiful, like almost it's like a beautiful dance. to watch. It's it's zen-like to watch it. it it's it, but you have to be very careful because while the initial the initial objectives that you get in the game are are very doable. They're very doable. They they focus in, in RTS tradition. They focus on small groups of units and and not a whole lot of uh, fancy, you know, need, needing to deal with. Uh, you know, with a lot of rock, paper, and scissors going on, there's not a lot of need to deal with your economy at this stage. It's it's just here's your units, make some stuff, and throw it in. Yeah. And and let it happen, but that changes <laughs> as the game goes on. Homeworld is is can be quite difficult, especially if you're used to playing strategy games, say like StarCraft, and you and you know you're you're trying to get a, a handle on how to utilize the 3D space. Hit space again, so we can really see. When you get a chance, there we go. This so is that you can really the plan. see, you know. Obviously, a lot of stuff is still happening on a 2D plane that you can you can kind of see there. Standing by. But as the game continues, you will need to utilize 3D space a little bit, a little bit differently. Oh yeah, definitely. It'll ask you to it'll ask you to move like up that way. It'll ask you to move down. I while I'm waiting for my salvage Corvette to come back with some. Stuff from the probe, I am going to harvest some resources. So here's my little resource collector. What's this? Hello? That's something coming out of hyperspace. Oh, You've got an no, unidentified God. hostile. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite sound effects in all of games forever. Get it? Is the sound of, and don't forget, you've got an economy. You might be able to build some, build some stuff. Yeah, I might be able to get some junk from this thing. Go get it. Go get yeah, but if it. If you go into build, do you have any uh, fighters or corvettes you can you can throw into the mix? I bet you've got fighters. Uh, and then let me get another salvage corvette. Do I have? No, enough? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, maybe. No, yeah, maybe? you can salvage. Okay. Um, I'm more worried about you just living. Let me get another research col resource collector. So we've got a resource collector, resource collector, and a salvage corvette on the way. I'm gonna go uh, shoot the crap out of the ship that just appeared out of hyperspace. Um, haha, -ha. group one, go get them. Now, somebody was asking about, oh. um, about the campaigns, and, and I haven't played the remasters, so hopefully you'll be able to answer this, Alexa. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Um, one, of the, one of the most interesting things about Homeworld um, is the way um, units are persistent. So when you finish a campaign mission, um, you then go into the next campaign mission, um, not only needing to, uh, to to build more ships and get a, an economy going again, but you also bring with you all of the ships that are still left from your last mission. Is that still the case? Yeah, I mean, it's the same game. It is the same game, completely redone to look beautiful. They haven't tampered with any of what made Homeworld Homeworld. And right. because players were so unhappy that the original Mothership voice was not present for Homeworld 2, um, they brought her back and had her re-record all the dialogue, so she is also the voice of the mothership in Homeworld 2 as Don't well. Don't mind me. I just I took over your mouse for just a second. No worries. So we could see a little bit of uh, a little bit of close-up fun. Look at this. This isn't necessarily your best. Whoa! Woo! Not your best route if if you're actually trying to win a lot yeah. of the time. But uh, I might want to want to get some more uh, ships in there if we can. Is yeah. There, Another thing, so if it's the same game, that also means that uh, another thing that doesn't, you don't see enough of is location-based damage. So, Correct. So, um, There's a lot of location-based yeah, damage. The most powerful one. ships, you'll be able to target engines so that the thing can't get away. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to target all sorts of systems on it be beyond just like uh, generic attacking of, of the hull. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm worried about your few scouts that are left. I'm making some more. Promise. I am. All See, right. look, here they come. Look, they're popping out. Scout squadron. Popping out down here. Ah, oh, her voice. So, for people that, one, one of the great things about Homeworld, too, you know, when we talked about sound, and of course, I, I'm on record as, as, as loving sound immensely, you might want to build up a few, I don't know, I don't know if you want to send them <laughs> just a few out. But, Should I send uh, them all out? No, I'm just saying you might want to make sure you have more scouts before you send in the, the, the few that you have. I, I don't know. Up to you. I'm going to make some you, more. I'll let, you do your, I'll let you do your thing. 
I'm being mean. I'm being judgy. I'm. A, I'm no, um, I've got a lot. Judgery. Do, I'm playing my judgery do. I've got a lot of uh, resource research, resource units to burn here. Complete. So we're gonna pop them out. But uh, speaking of sound, like care, so and and story. I, I love the story of Karen Sajet, who is who mm -hmm. is um, basically the she she's she's sort of your um, I don't know she's sort of like nice Shodan I guess <laughs> like she's she's a, she's a woman who's been hooked up um, to you know to to be the the, the computerized yeah. center of of your mothership and and it's it's. All very sci-fi and heartbreaking, but also very personal. And I think, yeah. I think the best science fiction stories are the stories about people. And that's what you know, yeah. Star Wars: A New Hope. That's that's what makes those you know Star Wars great. Yeah. You know, is it's not just about space it's and, and stuff. It's about people. And I, you know, I love when the, when the game makes it about people. When when it tells us more about Karen Sajet. Her story is very heartbreaking. If it's you think terrible, about it. It's terrible, really. Scout complete. Um, somebody asking if this is easy to play? No, you uh, see me no. just getting wiped out? Well, to be fair, you're just sending in a bunch of you're just sending in a bunch of scouts one at a time. I know. I and making them better. all just go one by one. So Come I'm, back. Ju I'm judging. I I'm know judging. You are. I'm taking the place of all the people in the chat that might be wondering what's going on. I know. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just build a like a fleet up. I'm also out of resources. Well, you're out of resources right now. Things are on hold. Oh no! Okay. So, it's not like Supreme Commander, which uh, when Supreme Commander came out, one of the most interesting things that game did is allow you to go into the negative with resources, and it just went really, really slow. This will just be on hold until you have resources. Ready. Underway. Go collect things, friend. So, but people asking if it's easy. No, the game's no. Uh, Homeworld is not. I mean, at this stage, we're just we're we're in a very easy yeah, early we're tooling around. bit, and and Alexa's just messing around um, while I judge her. Um, well, I get but judged. It, it the game does get hard, and you run into very interesting situations. As I mentioned before, the you know the units are you know they carry over from mission to mission. And sometimes you find yourself having been wiped out in a yeah. mission, and you go into the next mission, and there's that mad scramble to get things moving so that you don't run into trouble. Yeah, it's um, tough. Yeah, see, I can't build anything yet. And and I mentioned this before, but there's an incredible danger that happens, um, which is that you can get lulled by the visuals, which are just so. Which beautiful. is what just let's, happened let's to me. Let's take a look at the the mothership while while we wait. Here's my my. Your salvage, salvage Corvette, Corvette coming home. Mothership. Here's the mothership. Scout. So she, and that's the voice of Karen Sajet controlling yes. the mothership. So hey. Scout squadron complete. Yeah, you can rotate the camera literally just impossible numbers of angles here. There's li and it's funny because there are little mothership. little touches that mean so much. It's like like there's the, you know, See, when look. units are create like when you. When you start the mission, there's the initial um, part where you launch all your ships. You know, you'd think that you would start and everything would just be sitting there waiting to go mm -hmm. and whatever. But you have that moment where you start the mission and you actually have to launch them and they all come from out the bay. You can see the bay there on the side where it's, where it's all white on the mothership. Yeah. Um, where all the light is coming from. Are you going all I think all I might aggressive? just go balls to the wall. So here are all my scouts hanging out waiting. I'm asking how long the campaigns were. I'm trying to remember. They're long. Yeah. Um, my, you know, my memory is that they were, they were substantial, which is appropriate because, you know, as as good as multiplayer is in RTSs, just in general, um, I would venture to say that actually it was the. And I'm gonna get your other little group down there mm -hmm. going. And now maybe we've got Go! we've, we've got a fight. Now, Avenge your double, fallen can you double brethren. click on the the enemy mothership, and then hit F, and then zoom in, and let's uh, let's let's watch it be destroyed. This is a little baby. This mothership. is uh, get get that get that awesome nebula, you in, want the the nebula in the background. Yeah, totally. Actually, Ooh. it just looks like a galactic plane, maybe. Look at and it. And then we'll just watch things happen. This is 
And you can really tell when you start looking at this. You oh can my God, see, here they come. Here they come. You can see how the visuals have been, have been updated. You can see the, here you know, the come. new textures. Everything looks, you know, a little Bim -bim -bim. dirty and a little worn. And um, here we go. Scout squadron complete. Here we go. Check that out. Somebody asking about adjusting game speed. No. I don't know that you can adjust game speed. No. I don't know that you would want to. Um, yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't. It's it's not like a turn-based game where it's like things get boring and you want to speed it up or anything. And I think I'm done with these asteroids over here. There's somebody asking about uh, do ships have a first-person camera? They don't. They just have that really close-up third person, unless Gearbox has added something. Um, uh, they have not. Assembly underway. Go. Building three more. Copy. Moving. Everyone, go. You should move. You should move the mothership. I in. should. Let's let's see if we can get the mothership in. It, 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 th this mothership will be. Mothership. Will be dead before that happens. But the mothership moves really slow. Yeah, she's moving, but she's not moving very. Very slowly. She's not moving very quickly. Sorry. People talking about um, local resources exhausted. Um, about cataclysm, um, and cataclysm, as far as I know, is not part of this package. No, it is not. Um, but maybe we'll be lucky, and Gearbox will will update that as well. Um, resources exhausted. Are we exhausted really, the really resources? Love cataclysm. I might be in a bind should. here. I've exhausted all of my resources. Attack. To make more, to make more scouts, and this ship up here is just eating me alive. Have you, uh, have you done any research? Um, next time you 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 bring in some, some stuff, you should maybe uh, research the interceptor mm -hmm. and, and get things moving along a little bit more. I mean, you could. Be, I mean, at this stage, I think you're not really in any danger. You could probably, you could just probably keep pumping out scouts. Yeah, but, but look, I don't I'm think not you're getting any anywhere. damage. Hmm. Um, yeah. Unidentified hostilities. What is this? Oh, it's like the broken ship. I have an idea. Back it up. Get, get that thing salvaged, for heaven's sake. Yeah, I'm salva I'm gonna salvage it. Where's my salvage collector? This is this is me silently judging Alexa. Well, no, not, not you so can silently. very loudly judge I'm totally me. loudly judging um, Alexa as she plays. Um, Feel free. <laughs> I'm I'm still getting my bearings, but this game is freaking awesome. You know, it moves really slow. Confirmed. Oh God, goodbye, scouts. You were great for a while. I mean, in the end, you can use the mothership to to attack, and you'll probably be fine. But that's going to take forever. Do we have some? Uh, we got to get some resources coming in. Do you? Ha how many resource collectors do you have out there? Two. You can also. I don't know if you have one. You can also um, set up the. You know, set up the unit out there that you can deliver the resources to, so that you don't have to send them to the mothership. But I don't know if you you um, have one of those. I don't think I do. This is like the second mission in the game. Yeah, we're very early on, and my little guy's going over there. The mothership, if I recall correctly, does have weapons. It can it can defend itself, but it's not going to last forever. Yeah. Um, you you can target um, other units with the mothership, but. Uh, Moving but very uh, it is it is not meant to be an attack vessel. I like that you have it set up on, on on auto launch. I have to admit, I usually like to launch it myself because I just think there's something more epic about doing it that way for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so you can like build stuff and then you do. It's all very slow going. You have, uh, do you have your uh, interceptor research going? No, I do not. Wait, let's, can let's I get, get one? that fighter chassis going. All right. Yeah, you have to build. You have to. Uh, I can make two with the resources that I have. Let's get two. Two maybe. No, you only you only do it. That's only do research. Okay. You only do it once. Let's only do yeah. one. So this little guy over here. Ready is approaching this and I'm wondering if you so can salvage any of it. So now you've got a salvage corvette. Boop! He booped him. Yeah. Boop! Let's see what he can get. That was a smart idea. 
And just listen to the background. It's just like. Oh yeah, that's the. Priority alert. Somebody saying, did this game use the same voices <gasps> for Sins of a Solar Empire? No, no. those are. Uh, what did, what did no. you do? Oh, you're under attack, girl. I know. You need to. You need to get some units going. You. Get 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 a couple interceptors in there. Come on. Come I on, can only come make on. I can only make two. You can do it. Just get them going. At least to start. And uh, what's run? Run! Interceptor complete. Mothership. Report. Mothership. So here are my interceptors. Mothership. Where are the I'd leave them there for now. I, I would now be a little. What are what are no, the stop. what are the diamond units you've got there? Those are resource collectors. Why aren't they collecting resources? Because I'm done. Look at all of them. There's no there's no resources left. It says the guy said he said exhausted all local resources. So I'm boned. Yeah, I I think that's probably. Uh... Target confirmed. Go get them. Oh, God, no. Please go away. Yeah, I think you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Next time I'm, I'm, I'm going to yank the keyboard and the mouse away from you. You should. <laughs> I'm mean, though. No, I appreciate your tutelage. My, my tutelage. Because I don't, I don't know. How long do we go? My salvage corvette just go exploded. <laughs> Yeah, my salvage Corvette exploded. Um, well, let, let's at least look at the things up close. Hit, yeah. hit that F key and uh, zoom. There we go. Yeah. And let's, so, I mean, if they're gonna they're gonna die, at least make the death pretty. Right. The point is, we want you guys to see like just how much has been done to like make this look just like completely new. Yeah, I, we, I don't think any of us. I don't think we were out. We were out to 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 look like good. I I don't think looking like a good homeworld player was. Play the goal anyway. It was really mm -hmm. just to see the. It really was to see the visuals and see how this, uh, and see how the update was looking. And yeah. It's, it's it's looking, honestly, looking mighty effing fine. Yeah. Um, no, it looks great. Where are you going? Just looking at. Just looking. <laughs> okay. All right. Just looking at stuff. They're chasing. All right. Got one. I had two probes, so I don't mind if I lose one. That was beautiful. Well, the the thing is, they were they were focusing on the probe, not on you. So yeah. you might actually be able to pull this off. I might. Let's get a, like a really good close up fight. Check this out. But look at those light trails that it leaves. Like, yeah, it's so beautiful. I mean, that was always. Uh, oh, there you go. Was that one that of was, mine? No, it was one of them. No, it was one of them. That was always one of the aspect aspects of, of the original was that the light trails always looked great. Well, wait a minute. Where are they coming from? Space. Space! <laughs> Reporting. Yeah, I like... Where's my mo my mommy ship? Maybe in trouble. Here we go, back here. Yeah, all of these, like, we mined all the asteroids. I think I'm going to ask this guy... To retire the probe. All right, that's it. Retirement confirmed. No, hey. Standing by. Moving to intercept. There we go. So they're fighting right now. And here are my resource collectors just lined up and waiting for. Can you hit space and see if there are any uh, other places where you can send them? There you go. You might I be wonder, able to... what is over here? This is, that's the enemy. There's a cluster over here. You're all the yes. Are you? Yes. Yeah. You're 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 boned. Yeah. I'm early enough in the game. <laughs> I am. No. 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 I'm early enough in the game that like this is not an issue. But like, look at that. What happened? What's going yeah. on over in that fight? Are you? Because they're they're gonna come come after the uh, the mothership. Oh, everyone's dead. We all took each other out. In a blaze of glory. Do we want to show off the original Homeworld for? Oh, you mean Homeworld 2? 
Does this come with the original? Like, can you see the original's visuals? Yeah. In here? Oh, well, then, yeah. Let's go back. And let's look at, I think I have to jump out of here, though. And we'll see the computer. So, oh, crap. Sorry. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Yay. So, this oh. is, the game comes with Homeworld Remastered. And it comes with the classic version. So let's just let's take look. a look. Let's, let's, take, take, a, let's a look. take a look. Oh, Sierra. Sierra. So the beloved Sierra, which I think are still officially alive and part of Activision now. Mm -hmm. um, but Sierra, of course, not just it wasn't just Homeworld that was Sierra. It was King's Quest, um, and actually the original publisher of Half Life. Yeah. Strike and so forth. Homeworld is not a 4X. People are uh, asking if Homeworld is a 4X. It is not a 4X. No, it is not. Um, it is uh, a much more traditional real time strategy game that also happens to be set in space. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of the other stuff. Single player. Let's, uh, let's, Look at this. Yeah, I know, right? Let's uh, go ahead and start the, start the new game. And uh, let's take it at the beginning so we can see the opening cutscene. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Just press start. Look at this, it's so funny. There we go, yeah. It's, check out the, uh, the low-res cutscenes. The thing is, it was, be it was still beautiful. A satellite detected an object under the sands of the great desert. Even the audio is sort of like, An expedition you know. <clears throat> Woohoo, rolling on up. I love this shot right here. This shot always gets me. It really, it really communicates the loneliness. In the sand. Um, you know, the hugeness of the starship, the loneliness of the environment. Yeah. I think that, you know, I think that I know that Gearbox got Gearbox purchased the IP when the THQ when THQ auctioned off all of its assets. Gearbox purchased Homeworld, and I honestly think that they've done a really great job of making of taking Homeworld instead of making like Homeworld 2015 or something. I think they did a really great respectful thing by sort of updating the classic and I think this will introduce it to a whole new audience of people that maybe never picked it up before. I mean what I'd really like to see, I, I really would like to see a Homeworld 3 of course, a lot of people would. Um, mm. And maybe this, this, will be, this will be the chance but I'd love to see some of those, uh, you know, some of those relic guys um, be part of that. But it, you know, it, you know, they've moved on to, to, to other things. They have. And uh, I, I don't think we're going to see a Homeworld 3. Um, and I don't, well, actually, we might. Gearbox I might might United pick up that, uh, they might. that banner. Um, I'll never get to see an Impossible Creatures 2. That's, that's really sad. No. Um, one of their, uh, it would one, one of my favorite stories about Relic is the story of Impossible Creatures 2, which was original, or Impossible Creatures. Hmm? Wait, originally, it was called Sigma. Um, Sigma. And then they ended up getting sued because something else was using the, the word Sigma. Huh. Um, and they ended up changing the name of the game. Who had herself permanently integrated but, uh, the new colony ship as its living core. <laughs> so sad. She is now Fleet Command. Oh. She's now an immortal space lady. The promise of the guide stone. Oh, I forgot they're making uh, shipbreakers. They're is making Homeworld shipbreakers. A, is Homeworld is that an official Homeworld? Um, it's a. But it, I thought, for some reason, I thought shipbreakers wasn't officially Homeworld. For some reason, shipbreakers is a spiritual successor. Right. Um, that going back to the multiplayer beta, yeah, like that will be that will be available <clears> when people get the when people get the game. And and here's now, the old mothership. Yep. And here we go with the great use of uh, a choral version of uh, Samuel Barber's Adagio um, that <laughs> uses the word, that uses the uh, Agnus Dei as the text. 
So yeah, just like look at like this and like compared to like to what Gearbox is. And it's pretty amazing now looking back on it. It's funny because that's what I was saying about memory. How this looks kind of like what my memory says Homeworld looks like, but my like memory and this and reality are, yeah. are very often <laughs> quite different. Command. So you're actually, you'll be doing the review for this game, yeah? Yeah, as soon as we get the uh, review code, I'll be review doing code. it. Long time, long time Homeworld lover. Um, like I said last year, I dug out my uh, my disc. I don't think I did it on purpose. I was I was cleaning and I, I painted. And uh, as I was cleaning out the closet, I came across like huge piles of discs. No. And uh, this was one of the games I stuck in the I stuck in the drive. Um, it took some, Homeworld 2 was, it took some doing. I had to, uh, to mess with it a little bit um, to get it to run properly um, because it would, it would do things like, you know, I would only see like a, like a little bit of the game on my screen, like it would stretch beyond my screen and <laughs> things like that, so you have to... Dracos in the, the Twitch chat is saying that... Uh, that Shipbreakers is now officially Homeworld. Oh, that's super so. cool. Awesome. I wonder how many how many people will pick up will be picking up Homeworld for the first time with Homeworld Remastered. A lot, I bet. I mean there was there's never there hasn't been um, a good way to buy it um, for a long time. Like you you couldn't get it through, you know, a legitimate purchasing source. I mean maybe you'd be lucky enough to be in a GameStop or a Walmart somewhere, and yeah. see the see the CD case um, sitting somewhere, but uh, yeah. Um. Master the Hero says it'll be his first time, and uh, very exciting to get to play a classic like this. Like I said, original Homeworld, one of my top ten games of all time. Um, Homeworld two, Homeworld is two, part of my is part of a little bit of part of my GameSpot history. <laughs> Um, because it was one of those, it was a game that had gotten up back when we had a component scores, when we scored, you know, gameplay, graphics, sound, etc. Um, it ha Homeworld 2 had a perfect 10 in graphics, and back, you know, I mean, even now, like, when you spend a lot of money on video cards, one of my favorite things to do would be, Back when I was just a fan, go to GameSpot, do a search for all the things that got tens um, in visuals, and then just buy those things. <laughs> because You're funny. I was a graphics whore. You are funny. To begin combat trials. First what are you so saying? Yeah. This looks exactly how I remember it, though, not any different. That's because we are looking at the original, the, the original, original, this original. This is the original, original. Before we, head, yes. before we head out, we can't really show you a lot since the game's coming out soon, but. Uh, before we duck out on you, we'll go back and just show you the new one again, just so you can get a yeah. Let's go back. Get an idea. And let's let's do um, the very opening again and look at and people can judge. Oh God, Steam. Yes, I maybe occasionally play I Am Bread. No one judge me. Oh, I've been judging you this whole time. <laughs> press H. But no, I mean not now. Don't press H. Of course. Now. Let's go to the mission one. We can't show that one. We can't? It's on our restrictions. We mm. can only show certain ones. Yeah, mm. so Gearbox has politely asked us to not show too much so you guys have something to look forward to when you get it, but this is what we can show you. Um, we want to make sure you guys get the full impact of how much work has gone into this. And see, check it out. Look how different the mothership looks. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at, look at the fact that it's not all aliased and gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Look at this, like, look at the, like, the front of it. Hyperspace jump. Like, we saw in the beginning, it was all sort of, like, grainy and, like, and everything all is the, all smoothed All out. the ships are launching. Again, my favorite thing is to do the manual launch. It always feels like I'm more of a commander that way. Commander Kevin. I, uh, look at yeah, this, though. I, like, and it's, it's interesting because I feel like, I feel like it's time for the, the real-time strategy genre to really make a comeback. There was a time when every other PC game that came out seem, seemed like it was a, an RTS. Yeah. Although I'm talking about, you know, 2002, 2003, you know, we, we had all sorts of games that nobody even now remembers. <laughs> um, but I feel like there's, there's a resurgence coming. I mean, 
Starcraft. I don't re include Starcraft too because I feel like whatever Blizzard does sort of exists in its own thing. It, it, it's you know you know Starcraft two is Starcraft two, um, but now I feel like there really is a resurgence. We've got um, Grey Goo. Yes, just we do. came out, for example, and I feel like it's time. It's time for games like this, where you know there was more or less equal footing for an economy and equal footing for for battle. And you know, for a long time, strategy games were coming out. They were only they were so battle focused that 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 uh, in a lot of cases. Um, resource collection and, and base building was just dropped entirely. Now, there's not really base building in in Homeworld, but there's certainly, um, I mean, the mothership is your base. Yeah. Um, and it is your, your single base for, <laughs> well, not completely single base, but it's your main base for constructing units. There are other units that spawn units, but. Yeah. Now, this is like super, this is just super relaxing, like, Take an afternoon, make yourself some tea, and just, you know, play Homeworld for now, a couple hours. research. Research shit. Complete. New research get, available. get, uh, available for construction. get your, uh, move, move over. To, oh, mm -hmm. I don't think you have, uh, yeah, just uh, get your interceptors. I need to, oh. Construction under make two. Go. Here's my new resource collector coming out the ship. Coming out the ship. Interceptor squadron complete. Hello. But anyway, now we're we're just doing the same thing that we did before. Now we're hanging out. Yeah. So this is um, the same. But we area. wanted to we wanted to give you a chance to kind of compare the original to the remaster, so we could really see mm -hmm. just how drastic that difference was. Um, where where are we? I. I that about I, wraps I, it up, I, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it about wraps it up. But, yeah, that. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for for uh, the the go ahead from Josh back there to see if that's if that's indeed where we're at. Make yeah. sure they're ready. Yeah, oh, this is uh, this is uh, <laughs> no, this has been a really emotional, very sweet journey. Um, sorry, I didn't win. I'm still sort of learning how to. It's a lot it's of okay. resource you're not management. A, you're not a strategy game player. Hey, and, whoa. Uh, you actually asked me, Kevin, do you want to drive? And I said, <laughs> no. Women drivers, um, am I right? Because no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. And no, don't pull that one on me. Um, <laughs> but it was it was more that I haven't. You know, I haven't touched it, and I've been waiting for the I've been waiting for the full version to come, Keeping so your I can hands. get my keep my hands clean, uh -huh. so that I can leap in. Um, but uh, next next time I'll yeah next since I'm the strategy guy, next time I'll jump in and 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 uh, take the reins. Well, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is a super awesome game. It looks really cool. Uh, February 25th, it'll be on Steam. Multiplayer launches the same day, so grab your friends. Exciting times! I am. Way psyched now. Somebody get out there and buy Hegemonia, um, <laughs> so that we can get a Hegemonia remastered, and uh, maybe maybe awesome. all the space RTSs will make a comeback. Maybe they will. Yep. Thank you for watching. Thanks.